All right, guys, we're back working on 370. It's been a while. I haven't done anything for the last week. Could, Sorry, do you mind? <laughs> All right, guys, we've got Bryn helping us today. And we are doing some stuff with the intake manifold, and then we're going to get onto the front chassis stuff and all sorts of bits. I don't actually know exactly what we're going to do, but he's here for the whole weekend, aren't you? Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? He's, he's a bit iffy. So yeah, we're gonna test out this 3D printed version. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you instead of in my face. You can see what we're actually talking about. So yeah, this is what we 3D printed. Now this is obviously not the full intake manifold top and this bit up here is all completely gonna change, but you get the idea. This is just so that we know exactly where the throttle body's gonna be. We got it pretty close to everything, didn't we? Talk me through some clearances stuff. 3D mill is a 3D mill. <laughs> 3D mill. 3 mil is kind of what kind of clearance we'd aim for on bits at work. So that's probably about right there. Wouldn't want to go closer. There's room underneath that we could drop it down, but I don't think we really need to as long as we've got the clearance on. Top. Yeah, we need to stick the bonnet on now and just see if it does actually clear. We've also made a power steering bracket. Some of a power steering bracket. Okay, yeah, part of it because we're relocating the power steering pump. Yeah. Um, it used to be over here. Used to be in this space there, yep. And now we're moving it to down here. So we're gonna mount it off of those two bosses there, but this one's almost impossible to measure to from what we've got. So I've printed out this from the two holes we could measure, and then I've got a little reference stick so that I can work out exactly where that one sits relative to that one. Oh, it's clever. See, when I 3D printed stuff, I just tried to make stuff fit, and then if it didn't work, I did another 3D print. I didn't think to actually like make bits you could chop off and measure stuff from. That yeah, is, so this is the engineering. And um, so yeah, the other stuff we're gonna do today is try and start working on the front chassis leg setup and the front tube front end shit. How many times did I say front there? Quite a few. Right, so we've put all the bonnet and bumper and stuff on and got things roughly in place. We're just kind of propping things up at the moment. And we're looking pretty good. I can't really lift this up at the moment while I'm filming, but we're looking pretty good um, clearance wise. It's very close to the bonnet, but there's a bit more of the bonnet skin on the inside that we're gonna take out anyway. So that should be fine. And yeah, we've just been putting the intercooler in to just kind of offer up where exhaust stuff's gonna go, where the bar's gonna go that's gonna mount the intercooler, all that jazz. Next job, I think, is gonna be to start actually making the chassis legs. We'll, we'll get all this off so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now what are we doing? We're just greasing up your hole. <laughs> can we go two seconds without making a stupid joke about holes? Absolutely not. No. I'm just gonna grease up the O-ring because it should go into this groove, it's the right size. This, I don't know where this is going in the video, by the way, because it's got nothing to do with what we were just doing. It doesn't have to go in the video, but it probably will, because I don't have any quality control aspect to my videos. Just put it all in. Right, what are we doing, Bryn? I'm, I'm putting this fitting into this Craig Davis pump because the instructions that they give you are absolutely worthless. They don't <laughs> tell you what <laughs> just to says do. just says screw it in. That O-ring starts off up here, but it actually wants to be in this groove down the bottom. Um, and Chris can't get this in, and I, I don't it, normally have a problem with that. Just want to say it should be the right size groove. I've run the numbers. You've run the numbers, and you've decided the best course of action is to take a grindy thing to my nice new water pump. Well, the groove is the right size, but there's no lead to get the O ring in, so it needs one. The O ring is now in there. The O-ring is now in there where it belongs, is what he said, because the microphone's pointing at me, so you probably can hear that. So yeah, the whole point of that is we're gonna have the header tank feed back into this thing at the top, that bit that's sticking out, that's around the side, that's around the bottom, it's rotating. This lock nut is there so that you can put that wherever you want and then lock that down. Lock it down. Lock it down. Yeah, we're gonna do a whole separate episode on all the cooling system, all the swirl tank, swirl tank, swirl pot, um, all that stuff, but yeah. In fact, maybe this will be in that video. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? Look. Your dad's here. What? I'm commenting on the fact that you look like a dad in that fleece. The daddiest of fleeces. Daddiest? Yeah, but I'm warm. I'm warm as fuck. Hotter than your mum. Like a dad. Dip, dip, dip. <laughs> In dip. Look at him go. In dip. I'm a real boy. Leave some more tax on the bottom. We're getting it, we're getting it. Just weld all the way around it. Taking the fucking turbo off, shouldn't we? And then this wouldn't be a problem. Why am I supposed to burn like this? Can't see, but something's making a crackling sound. So I thought, did that even? Look, Solid. you've welded it. Fuck you. You've dropped that. Oh, it looks so stupid. Why don't you tell me it looks stupid? What do you mean? It's not even level. Right, so Britain won't admit it, but this is not level at all. He was in charge of leveling and it's not level. The engine's not level. You're not level. So now that we've made it not level, Bryn goes, oh yeah, I've got a digital angle finder thing. Oh, I've got one of them. I use this for doing alignments. You've got one. I've got one. Fucking shit. 
shut your mouth then, you dumb. <laughs> How out are we? Let's see. That's 2.6 degrees relative to the car. 2.6 degrees. Right. right, so. 2.5 degrees angled up, basically. So what you're saying is you've done it wrong. <laughs> two, two degrees by eye, it's pretty good. Two degrees, two degrees off. Well, are we going to make the other one just as on the piss as this side? Oh well, yeah, we've got it now. You think? Well, otherwise it'd be all twisted. It is all fucking twisted because you didn't you get it straight. It off, then, if only you hadn't put 19 tacks on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were like, oh, we'll just put a tack on it, then we could break it off if something goes wrong. I'm just going to fucking tack it until the cows come home now. I did four, right? You can lift the whole car with it now. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Right, we're going to do the other one and make just as much of a hash of that. Right, Stay tuned. Well, right, level me up, Buttercup. What, what, what do you mean, level you up? <laughs> yeah, what? You need a tube. Get the tube, cut the tube. Get the tube, cut, cut the tube, tube. cut the tube. Degrees. Where is it? I don't know. Is that where this wants to be? Yeah, I can't remember how to twist Get more tacks on it so we can't get it up. Oh God. All right, in. That pedal control. That was a good tap that. Bit. Yeah. Right, she grand. Don't look at the camera, don't touch the camera, don't go near the camera, don't ping the camera. How difficult is this to work out? Jesus Christ. This, this is why everyone just uses cheetah bends, they call them. So yeah, what we're trying to do is join these two chassis legs, the wonky chassis legs. We're going to have a bar that's coming like underneath. You'll see. I'm not even going to bother trying to explain it because you'll see. Once, once Bryn has figured out, he doesn't look like he's figuring much, but once he's figured out how we bend this, how we'll be... Can you make it turn? All right, we'll be back in a minute. What? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> this is correct. Okay. We know where that radius wants to start roughly, so we start bending it there. The only problem is this isn't how a tube bender works. That's not, that's not why that comes out, you fucking nonce. No, it's going good at the time, isn't it? He's bending. We got, <laughs> he's traction limited though. <laughs> He is definitely traction limited. <laughs> right, since you last saw us, we've been bending, shaping this tube, which will now become... It's gonna go a little something, right? Turn right around. A little something like that. It's taking a lot of effort to get that in the right place, but yeah, something like that. And that's just gonna tie the front chassis legs together. Obviously everything's not welded up yet on the chassis mm. legs, but and also form the support for the intercooler and oil coolers. That's a good point, yeah, yeah. It's also going to be what we're going to mount the oil cooler and intercooler off. Forgot about that. Couple of wee tacks on our pal. Don't know why I've suddenly gone Scottish. That's going to be fucking weird for the viewers, isn't it? Aye. Aye, pal. We Aye. do this occasionally. We role play as Scottish cunts. Don't say role play. Grand. That looks so stupid. Look at it. In my head that looked cool, but it looks so wank now. So the, yeah, the idea was that the screwing pipes were gonna come off there and both go down in the middle. I mean, not quite that far out, because that one would hit the other one, but that was a nice view of your finger there, thanks. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I don't know, we just experimented with turning this around and having the screwing pipe come down here, but it can't because the exhaust muffler is gonna be here. So we're left with this abomination. I feel like it would look less stupid with that there. Yeah, but that's basically what we've done. Let us know in the comments on a scale of one to stupid. How fucking stupid does this look? <laughs> anyway, another news. We got the um, the what are we even calling this? It's not a bash bar. It's a bullshit. It's a bullshit bar. Okay, we got that thing kind of done. Rail Chassis bar, thing. Bar, oh, intercooler mount. Bar. Intercooler bracket support mount. Bar. <laughs> That's well. It's, it's in. We, we had a little, little bit of a hiccup with the fitment, but the, this side's pretty good. This side's fucked. But I'll just lob a load of welding. Ironic, really, that yeah. Good, and then fixing this side made that side bad. Makes you look tall. Does it make me look powerful? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't ever want to look up at you and think that you're looking powerful. To be honest. <laughs> what are we doing here, fella? I'm just trying to find other canton places that we can fucking cut and run this. Canton. That looks like a faucet. 
You look like a foster. You look like a foster kitten. Oh, this is fucking garbage. The content, the fucking faucet, wastegate that we've created, everything's garbage. That's not garbage. What, the faucet gate? Yeah. What, what that? I mean, this looks garbage. It is garbage. Imagine if it was a continuous 135 degree. Oh my god, are we doing a loop with this fucker as well? Yeah. Loop it under there. Wait, what about the fucking water fitting? Well, fucking fuck the water <laughs> fitting, Chris. We don't need water, not where we're going. <laughs> so we spent some more time playing around with screaming pipes and we still can't find a good way to do it to actually fits and doesn't look shit. Now, this way looked promising, but again, because the exhaust silencer is going to be in here when you start offering that up, it's just not going to work. So, I don't know, we'll um, go sleep on it because it's like midnight now, so we'll come back tomorrow and see, see how we feel. So we're taking a break from screamer pipes today because we couldn't think of a good design, and we've bent this tube up, which is going to be the radiator top support thing, as Bryn is terribly demonstrating. There you go, you get the idea. Um, we've played around with a lot of different options. Some idiot cut most of the floor out, so there's not really a lot to mount Some it to. Some idiot cut the floor out, but another idiot told him to do it. Yeah, wait, which, which idiot was I? You cut it out. He I... told me to do it. I was the one that cut it all out. That is true. It was a team effort. That's the plan. Make some little tabby boys to go off there. The bottom end, we're not quite sure about yet. We're thinking just... It's going to sit further forward. Attach it. Got it, but where I've got it, it's got some things to sit it on, so... Yeah, we're going to attach... We're going to make some little brackets for the bottom. That's all you need to do. Um, we maybe should have filmed like doing the bending and stuff, shouldn't we? That's right, they know what a bender looks like. They know what a bender looks like. Yeah. We are top benders. So we've had quite a bit of back and forth trying to figure out a good way to mount this radiator because like I said we cut all the floor out. What do you say? You little... Mostly back and forth because you're wrong. You back and forth yourself. So what we've eventually come up with, this is very temporary, just to prove a concept. Ignore the horrific welds where I was trying to weld to fucking seam sealer. Um, but yeah, very temporary proof of concept, just to sit the radiator in on the bottom so that we can get it all to match up. Because the problem we're having, yeah, he's going to demonstrate. So the problem we're having is that this hose here hits, hits the um, cage a lot. I think I already mentioned that. Um, so we're having to kind of make it as low down as possible, which is why we've got the mounts all the way down there, like basically in the floor. And then, yeah, we're going to have this bracket off here that's going to attach to those bolt holes there. So I think that's probably about it, isn't it, for this weekend? I think we're done. Hmm. You Minecraft villager again. Mm. <laughs> it's pretty good. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Not really... I don't feel like we've achieved a lot, do you? We did a tube front. We did a tube front. Yeah, it's, it's, to be honest, it's mostly been planning. Like, other than getting this tube thing on, We've mostly just been planning stuff in terms of like where oil lines are going to go, where screwing pipes are going to go, all that stuff. Um, and also we tested the 3D printed boy, so that was good. Um, but yeah, not the most productive weekend, just lots of planning, lots of stuff that kind of just has to get done, but it doesn't really result in that much visual progress, unfortunately. But that is, that is a big part of a build like this, is just talking, planning, offering things up, seeing what fits, seeing what doesn't fit. But yeah, that's, that's probably about it. Um, right, what am I explaining? You're explaining what we're doing. What are we doing? Right, Bryn's here, he's still got a stupid fucking mullet. Actually, have you still got a stupid mullet? Yeah, still like, got a stupid, stupid, stupid mullet. I'm freshly shaved like your mum's cunt. <laughs> Let's start that again. <laughs> I can't <laughs> that. Freshly shaved like your mum's cunt. It's maybe a little strong for the intro, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, you're noisy. Why are you so Look, noisy? the amount of time it's taken you to record this, I've done it. What have you done? I've put my dick on the planet. <laughs> Don't say that. All right, guys, we're back working on 370. I've not done much over the last week, but we've got a little helper today. We've got Bryn. You can see him in the background playing with his big black dick. Is that going to be safe for the first 30 seconds? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake! It's not, it's not <laughs> It's just fucking liability. <laughs> we try to finally get around to actually filming stuff and you're like, no, I'm bleeding. I get nosebleeds when I When you get, get excited. excited. This is what happens when he's near cars. Sex is just the worst. Oh, it's the God. blood everywhere. And that's just my asshole. All right, guys, we're working on 370 again today. Uh, we've got Bryn here helping us. He's, I look like you were kissing him then. <laughs> he's got fucking tissue up his nose because he's had a nosebleed. <laughs>
<laughs> Go take your fucking tampon out and just bleed. <laughs> Oh, everyone's got to call this another fucking bromance moment, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, stop, stop recording Why? the gay bits, man. Why? I don't <laughs> get it, right? Everybody loves the gay bits, though. What's gay about it, though? We're just here working on cars and sucking dicks. Like, what's gay? <laughs>